Hey, Naval Academy family. It's great to talk to you today on the 175th birthday of the Naval Academy, Founders Day, October 10, 1845. And here we are at the Naval Academy Marine Corps Stadium. What a great day to be outside playing Navy football, carrying on all the rich traditions that are 175 years old. Today we're playing and we're going to win. And what I think is the 12th man on the field today is we've got all 4,600 midshipmen, plus our cheerleaders, plus our band. we got a lot of spirit in the stands today. It's going to be awesome. We've been around through pandemics, through world wars, through terrorist acts, through other regional conflicts, and now another pandemic. We'll be relevant in every decade, well into the next century. I'm very proud to be here today with you. And I couldn't be more proud and privileged to bring the Naval Academy to you all, all around the world right now, alumni spread across the globe to wish you happy birthday. And thank you for everything that you've done all these years, from being a midshipman to being an alumni now and a strong supporter of our school. I also want to say thank you to our Marine Corps brethren and sisters in our alumni group. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your traditions and being part of the great Navy Marine Corps team in every conflict and every decade. What's so amazing about the 175 year birthday is we have never lost focus on a singular mission statement of the Naval Academy. And that is to develop young men and women of character to be leaders out in the Navy and in our Marine Corps. We've never wavered from that mission, and I'm proud to continue it on. My hope for our future, 175 years from now, is that we will be leaders relevant to the world, relevant to our country, and leading in cutting edge developments for humankind that will make us safer, happier, and more secure. Go Navy, beat Temple, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Naval Academy.